Just in the fall, the last months of the year, and the end of the millennium. This is the last time you're gonna hit us. Uh, I hope so. Because <laughs> fuck it, we're just gonna start playing now and hope it records. <laughs> so I've heard those. Days. It's Paris in the fall, you know. Oh, oh really? I was, oh, it's probably fucking winter now. <laughs> We've been trying this so long; it is it's no longer the fall. <laughs> These bloody trumpets as well. I know. Anyway, hello everybody. We are back. We yeah. have been away for a little while while I moved. Yes. Into my new cave. <laughs> it's not a cave. Yeah. We yet to have anything hanging from the rafters. That's true. You know, my mum hasn't been around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, She's too busy hanging out in Notre Dame. It's relevant because we're in France. <laughs> So, how is everybody? Not that any of you can answer me, I'm aware. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how to respond to that. Did, did you miss us? Did you? I think, I think like, five people killed themselves. Probably. I should have given out Samaritan's uh, phone number before I, uh, <laughs> I moved. <laughs> Sorry you have no more shit this week to watch, but, you know... Asking you to come in early? No, asking you to do something before. But I'm not. Shut the mouth. Yeah. Is that tear problem? Oh, my hand. Oh, I'm so sorry, good sir. <laughs> Don't like this guy, really. <laughs> George. Get your book, my balloon! <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. What? Oh, it's a bit peculiar. <laughs> shit, he stole it. Holy shit, just mug that guy. Ow. <laughs> oh my hair. <laughs> <laughs> So there is a HD uh, reworkings of this game, um, which is actually kind of cool. Um, you get to play a scene before As you I actually play this, up, but all I it's on Steam, and I have no winterwebs until next week. Life went on around me. Before we go back and play that one. The explosion yeah. <laughs> changed my life forever. Okay. So that's a point and click. It is a and point and click adventure game. Crawling under the umbrella and pretending none of this had ever happened. See, I never have the patience for these games. I have the intelligence, but I just don't have the patience. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel <laughs> Excuse Prize. Excuse me, uh, from I hope no one needs medical attention. I'm reading a paper. <laughs> that was the only news story. <laughs> Where's that guy over there? He's just still casually, you know, then doing his work. No, oh. it read Sala. It's a workman. He can't stop. No, he's French and ignorant. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. So this is our main protagonist, he's George Stobart. Oh, even his name just screams, oh my hair. I'm George Stobart. <laughs> I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. There, miss. How are you still alive? You must have been standing right next to the explosion. See, I don't like I don't like him as well it, because you know oh he just copped to feel dirty bastard French bastard <laughs> I'm not being it, he's, he's not French he's American oh the French have infected him oh with his ignorance God. never again how much vodka did I drink oh, man, <laughs> don't tell me what is your name Shelley George Stobart ma'am oh American <laughs> she asked the question oh, quite innocently <laughs> could sense her reserve. It was something which Please seemed to leave our oil your own. We have no oil here. <laughs> Do you want the country the next door? <laughs> oh, Belgium. You yeah, you can just walk straight in. <laughs> We've been to the border of Belgium. They have no borders. You don't say. What Do there used to be a wall there? 
You should try yeah, it wasn't that. Put there by... <laughs> no, it's put there by people that were slightly smarter. I yeah. did not hear what she just asked us to do, people. So we should yes, go. Yes, I am. I studied under Doctor Benton. Apparently, I said I'm a doctor. Only one of the most brilliant medical minds on this planet. He taught me everything I know about medicine. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Sure. You could be in shock. No alcohol. Okay, you're the doctor. Yes. What about the old yes, man? Yes, I am. Is he dead? You just killed yes, that woman. Yes. You know that, right? Oh, Why? mon dieu. Deny the French person alcohol. Ah. Uh -huh. That will kill. Let's see. Look. Told you. She's dead. She didn't respond. If I wanted another cappuccino, I'd have to serve myself. <laughs> He's an asshole. <laughs> He's a dick. So I haven't played this game in quite a while. The last one I played was the HD one, and I don't really remember much of it. But I shall wing it, and I shall see if I can uh, at least get a good portion of the game done. There is a part with bullshit death coming up like halfway through that I always forget to save and then have to do about an hour's worth of uh, work again. <laughs> so hopefully I'll remember that by the time I get there. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American consul. <laughs> Drop <laughs> your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Moo. I apologize, Monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe. Marsh. Marsh. <laughs> Guys, you're still there, digging away. Ah, it's none of his business. <laughs> Let's go put that gas line in. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur. Oh. Stop holding your breath at once. Has it occurred to you that he may be dead? <coughs> oh. Fuck oui, it. monsieur. <coughs> I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, <laughs> I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Clearly, the killer knew of his presence and... How many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? All we know is that he is dead. It seemed reasonable to assume... A great detective assumes nothing. Take McRae, for instance. But, but he was a fictitious character, monsieur. Why, he was no more real than Poirot. <gasps> Perot is real. <laughs> they were comedy Belgians. Anyway, it is unlikely that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. Examine the girl and take her statement. You've got a weird posture, look at him. Can. Yeah. Kind of got like a bent backwards back. He gets a bit more action y later on hey, in the games. Oh. Business. He's still a bit of a dick, but. <laughs> He does some jumpy things in the third one. <laughs> Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And I think number five, which was released recently, was what went back to so shady D animated. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to be quite good as well. Yeah. well. I've got one, two, and three. I haven't got four because I heard it was really bad. This time of year. But, no. you know, I'll still get it. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess Probably so. drop down on the Steam sale, so I'm going to get it cheap. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe yeah, at the time sales. of the explosion? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, was I was briefly the in the vicinity, and then I was killed. blown out of it. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Hmm. <laughs> so Did you not see a else homo. In the cafe? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. The picture is forming in my mind, and it is not a pretty one. <laughs> oh. oh, I see well nothing but how. Oh. Is the girl so the right picture in his mind was it done by Andy Warhol? She, <laughs> she confirms that. I don't like his art. I'm sorry. Me? Don't you like did it. not tell me you are a doctor. <clears throat> uh, no, that's right. I didn't think it was 
relevant. I did see some really cool performance Maybe out there. I have heard Someone enough. filled a um, what do you mean? with paint. I am and satisfied that you know nothing. Stuff. You know, canvas is all around it. Enjoy your vacation, cool. Dr. Awesome. Staubart. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. <laughs> and don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no Later on there's a bit in England and uh, we're on a train and there's a uh, Newcastle fan. Oh god. Fucking good. But uh, this game was made back in the day when Newcastle were good. I am from Newcastle like. <laughs> Thanks. That is all. Go away you may shite, go. pet. Oh, I bet it's a terrible... There's not much to go on. Right, this is an English company, so... Oh, okay. No. Yeah. But what lurks inside the subconscious? I'm just basing it judging Keep on the, the door bad French accent. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Academic? You are about to witness a scientific breakthrough. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, I got a nosebleed. Excuse me. Hey, baby. Ah, uh, a love interest. How you doing? Hi, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of She's so edgy. Yeah, that's right, on holiday in Paris. Some holiday, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with oh, an she's paparazzo. Killer. I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah. Can't not he in went front inside of the police. just before the bomb exploded. <laughs> you weren't related to him, were you? Oh no, nothing like that. I am it Nicole Collard from La Liberté. What's that, some kind of nightclub? <laughs> no, it is a newspaper. So you told you, paparazzo. I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you can interview me about the bombing. You know, an eyewitness account. Minutes after the She's outrage like, that shook nah, the whole nah, of good. Paris. You're American. You know, real life drama. <laughs> yeah. human interest. You're American. We don't trust uh, what yes. you saw. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds. Weapons like of mass destruction. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's in again. Oh, I tell you what, I've been watching on um. You YouTube, you question time. It's a long question story. Time? I have yeah, it's like a BBC time. program where they I get um, a bunch of politicians yeah. and they have an audience. Oh, and yeah. The yeah, audience yeah. asking yeah. questions. Who's the guy you were supposed Fucking to Fucking hilarious. I watched one with Nigel Farage and. Um, I didn't know him, oh, but he called me last He's a comedian with long hair. He said he had a story which would interest me. Like politics he asked now. Me to meet him Russell Brand. Brand. Yeah. yeah. I guess I uh, never know what he wanted to tell me. Uh, not unless that you have Lasso's uh, gift I can't stand Russell Brand. He's fine when he's doing like his comedy stuff, but when he takes an interest in something else, it just annoys me. <laughs> Why won't you tell me about this clown? Tell me about the clown! Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. Score! Oh. Player! You help me with my story, and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Damn. Okay, it's a deal. I have Bullshit. To go to Bullshit. She wants a D. Fine, I'll uh, see right, you soon. <laughs> you just brought it down a level, man. Yeah, yeah, I did. I had more questions. I had more questions. Douchebag. Gonna have to phone her up. Pull out your mobile phone. Oh, wait. Nope, I don't have to look. Telephone. Should we talk to the French man that seems like unfazed about the blowing Hi. up things? Can you spare a few minutes? I thought you'd been arrested. No, it was a <laughs> When he pulled that gun, I thought that was it. Those automatics by quite a bunch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. You were a terrorist? Yeah, he got confused when I said I was a tourist. <laughs> He's French. No, we have, uh, I need you to see an old guy find, a at, well, find a country where, when they speak English, you know when they say tourist, to it sounds like terrorists. I could have knocked this block off. 
No, but you just carried on swinging at the dirt. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantar. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. <laughs> That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more only tolerant. I turn back Red time. Do do do. They really bring out the hammiest actors. Find a way. Do do do. Just, just stop. <laughs> did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like, in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Huh. Those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. He loves the you circus. haven't answered my question. <laughs> Have you seen oh. a clown? <laughs> you think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Look, I know you're busy. Man, if my job could just be digging holes. A clown. I told I'd you that. already. I yeah. didn't see a thing. He was wearing multiple. Well, to be fair, last summer I did a and job I was putting up a fence a and for an entire day I was just digging holes in the ground for the posts. Yeah. It's fucking hard work. Would you like yeah, to read my newspaper? Newspaper? Here you go. I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Bah! Look at these damn bleeding out liberals! Cha! Save the dolphins! Catch them and eat them, I say! All that fuss over a bunch of fish! Nah, that's more like it! Look at the size of those! Like champagne <laughs> bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. Bucephalus reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning she is. If you say it's not going to be very good odds on it. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put mm. some money on that night. But you, you're not going to get a good return. See, see, that's how you know it's, it's English. He said nag. Yeah, Surely we're the only ones that use that. Yoink! I found a T-shaped tool in the box. I didn't know what it was, but it looked useful. Oh, it will be useful. It will be the most useful thing that we uh, have in the entire game. He's a d he literally just stole his shit. Oh, yeah. And fucked off. This is what you do in adventure games. You've never done this before, have you? You basically nick everyone's shit. You're trying to solve a crime, but, you, but you're going to end up breaking multiple crimes doing it. But but we'd, we'd break multiple smaller crimes to solve one big one. Means do not justify the end. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's pretty safe. Right. Because that's just like saying, Ah, oh, I'm killing loads of little babies to kill one big guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Same sort of deal. <coughs> <laughs> Can't believe that. Okay. Fucking American What's just in here. Cat no. crap. What's in here? Dog crap. Nothing. Smell. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. What's in here? People crap. Ah, cat! Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> That's fucking worse than alien isolation. Oh, so. Manhole tool. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Bloody hell! Wow, he does have a lot down his trousers. It's <laughs> a lot of space down there. It's like the TARDIS. Yeah. It's his guy brush Freepwood pants. <laughs> That's why you don't see many of these games now that things are getting more realistic. 
Yeah. What have you got in your pocket? Uh, uh, a spoon, that sort of thing. And some lint. Yeah. So red. As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. <laughs> it's a nose, bro. It was the clown's red nose. It's a red nose, bro. That water dripping is going to make me need to go for a piss. It's okay, it is pretty close. Yeah, I could just shout and continue. Yeah. <laughs> I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy, like breakfast leftovers. Nice. Nummy. Nuclear waste, that. <laughs> I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. Going up. Rude. And now I've got you. That's one of those classic about? Citrons over there. You know what I mean? They're really cool. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. I still hate Citrons. Because they're French. Ha! You won't catch me with tricks like that. Fine, I'll get out myself, you dick. <laughs> Asshole. Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? Terrorists. The meanest, <laughs> nastiest, dirtiest bunch of guys. Typical American. Saw. Terrorists. Englishmen, without a doubt. The filthy dogs. The day they opened that tunnel was a bad day for France. I tell you. <laughs> if I still had the full use of my faculties. I'd march right over there and tell them so. <laughs> well, whoever they are, they blew up. The yeah, I'm sure that would go very, very well. The cafe. Oh, fuck off back to Mom, France, you, you fucking French wanker. <laughs> the guy who did it was a calculating, cold-blooded killer. He was disguised as a clown. I followed him into the sewer, and I think he came this way. Ah, uh, mon dieu. And then, the man I chased. Do you think that man and the clown are... One and the one same. One and the same. Well, <laughs> yes, it had crossed my That mustache is ah. fucking... Awesome. It's legendary, isn't it? Yeah. You are doing down the soil. For <coughs> all I know, you are in league with him. Oh no, with I'm him. just a tourist. <laughs> Most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, <coughs> or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Wow, <laughs> they, are, they are pretty nice. Let's inspect your waste pipes. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm -hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rosso? What does that say? Hominoid division? A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something about you. Now he's impersonating you're a police officer. Your, yep. Your <laughs> Motherfucker! It's okay, we impersonate a doctor later on as well. <laughs> Have you already done that? I should know. Like an actual, actual doctor. Oh. Like we put a uh, jacket on and, you know, go around and we give some guys blood pressure tests. And I reckon if you totaled up all of the sentencing from the, from each the of his crimes, it will total up more than the, the actual clown. Yeah. Does this piece of material <laughs> mean, <laughs> That is the same cloth as the jacket oh. I found. I'd recognize that pattern anywhere. Jacket? Disgusting jacket. Now, oh no, look at it, it's nice and it's like green tartan. <laughs> France, you Bad fashion people. disasters. So, All of you. <laughs> Pity, because otherwise, it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside on the label. <clears throat> Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. 
Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not as soon. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. <laughs> what was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todd Rick, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one this year. Only Packer a man. telephone. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen. Ah, could have been Hugo Boss. You got a track record with that sort of thing. Eight fifty-nine. The kid. <laughs> that's his phone number. Yes, that's it. And this is the number that I love. Do you know what I mean by that? No. I was they made Hitler's uniforms. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> it comes in and he at the supermarket checkout. Uh, do I get a reward? Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. And I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, it does suck. I have to be going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Raymond, I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. What actually is he? That guy. Does he work the doors or? Uh, groundsman, I suppose. He's got keys. But he's got like I a door. No. Yeah, so do I. there is there's a door. Hmm. I don't think he's like a hotel. Huh? I don't know. That's odd. Now I'm gonna stay this phone. <laughs> Roderick. Hello? Who is this? Terrorist! Hi. <laughs> My name is George Stobart. You don't know me. Go no, ahead, Mr. Stobart. No, I don't. I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No. No. That's not possible. Oh, okay. Uh, forget it. Listen. All I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? I guess you might CIA. say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. Oh, thank God. I thought you were the police. There are innocent <laughs> lives, Mr. Todrick. Lives that you could save. You're collecting for charity, yes? <laughs> no, I'm not. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. What do you know about the clown who bombed the Café de la Chandelle Vert? I don't have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Todrick. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you be, but sure I am, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you're saying that to make me think you don't know what I mean, but... Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Quit playing games with me, Todrick. I tell you, I know nothing about no clown. Uh... Do you know a guy called Plantar? No, I never heard of him. Shall I tell you what happened to Plantar? How he was killed in cold blood? I told you, I never heard of Plantar. Plantar. I expect Plantar's a family man, don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Plantar is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. Junior is waiting for his daddy to come home from work. Boy, he can't dick. wait to show him the merit <laughs> marks he earned in school today. Only tonight, Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy. Huh? The faithful puppy dog waiting for the sound of his master's voice. Well, maybe they don't have a dog. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know Plantar. I never heard of Plantar. None of this has anything to do with me. Did you know that one of your customers was a part-time clown? If a guy feels happy with a funny nose and custard down his pants, what's the problem? <laughs> Thanks, friend. No, well, that was helpful. <clears throat> the nose was hollow. Printed on the inside were the words La Vise du Monde, Paris. Chop down. That's where you must go. That's where we shall go. It's gonna be a fucking joke shop or something, isn't it? Ah, 
Well, no, quite clearly you have to go for the police station. Let's move! She drew a little cute little face of her. Bonjour, love interest. She's so edgy, oh, hi. dark. Look it's her. George Stobart, the American at the cafe. Ah, oh, oui. Uh, you said to call if I could help. Have you any news for me? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown, and I know where the killer gets his suits. No kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. You are? Well, it wasn't easy. Look, why don't you come here to my apartment? Fine. <laughs> where do you live? 361 Rue Jarry. Okay, I'll come right over. Score! See, every time I see those police uniforms, I can't help but think Pink, Pink Panther. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the original. Yeah, not the shitty Steve Martin movie. Yeah. What a disappointment that was. Rue Jarry. <clears throat> I pushed against the door, but it seemed to be locked. <laughs> As people do. Oh, hi! <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Would you like me to foretell your future? Uh, no thanks. I'm very good. And it only takes a minute. <laughs> thanks all the same, You're gonna but die. I'm not superstitious. Besides, if it only takes a minute, that's not much of a future to look forward to. <laughs> He's got a point. Yeah. I've changed my mind. Well, all she has to fortune. say is, you get You're all the bitches. You're going on a long journey. My oh my, what a surprise. <laughs> Can you tell me anything I don't already know? Ten francs, please, my dear. Ten francs? That's a ripoff. Ah, this is pre-Euro. Mm -hmm. How does this fortune-telling routine work? If I knew that, I wouldn't be selling flowers for a living. Haven't you ever wondered why you were blessed with the gift? Well, it's a bit like satellite television, I suppose. Some of us are born with a, a built-in receiver dish. I just happen to be one of the lucky ones. Can you really foretell the future? Only time nope. will tell, uh, Yes. You. The strange thing is, I can't seem to see myself in the future. Other people, I have no problem. But when I try to see what might happen to me, nothing. That must be scary. Maybe. I figure it's a kind of natural safety mechanism. Either that, or I don't have a future. Oh. Do you know a young woman called Nicole Collard? Yes, I do. She lives upstairs from me, in the apartment block across the street. I tried the door, but it's locked. You know, I've told the landlord about that a million times. It is the damp. The whole building is like a sponge. It sucks up the moisture from God knows where. You mean the door is stuck because it's swollen? That is correct. <laughs> there is an art to opening it. Don't shove it hard. Just give it a gentle nudge above the lock. Thanks for the advice. Oh. See you later. That's right. It's a typical British problem, you though. Win. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see it happening in Paris, though. Uh, I don't know. It's quite old, though. Mm. Guess. Remembering the flower on, seller's yeah, advice, yeah, I pushed front, the door gently just it. above the lock. Ah, it's, not, it's not a big river though. Tends to fall a bit bigger. Yeah. Hello. No. You big ass apartment. Bonjour. I'm glad you could make it, monsieur. Please. No toilet, Call though. me George. Fine. I'm Nicole. <laughs> not that you can see. Take a seat, George. <clears throat> look, look, she's been spying on the neighbours. Look, she got did her tripod set up and everything. Perfect. Fucking perverts. Eh bien? And what have you been up to? I've been exploring the sewers beneath the cafe. Ooh. I thought I could smell something bad. 
The clown used the sewer to escape and to change out of his costume. Something dodgy I guess about he was in a hurry. He things. left his jacket behind. Yeah, and that was a bit weird. I got his tailor's phone I'm number. A bit concerned about What's more, Maybe she sells I know where he hired the clown suit pictures too. to people. Yeah, better luck than I did. And she frames them. Luck, she said. Luck. Hard work, I'd call it. What I happened? can't see a printer big enough the editor, for but he wasn't interested. Can that big. It? He told me to drop the story. Frame. But you're not about to do that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to find no, out in what her, the in her apartment. Is. Oh, okay. You well, what I think? probably guess to go somewhere to develop it. I don't see a dark privacy. room in there. The police in three different countries have kept very well, quiet it's about the murder. The press don't room. connect them at oh, all. Okay. They blame them on political, religious, or militant minority extremists. Guess. That covers just about everyone. But why not have the frames there? Mm-hmm. How did Plantow get your name? Pieces well, the together. newspaper, Val Libite. <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> Thinking two unsolved it. murders, <laughs> one in Italy and the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantow said he could supply me with more information. Somehow, the clown must have known about our appointment. I do like that pulley system that she's got there to dry her clothes. Tell me more about the clown's <laughs> previous victims. The first was Arnaud Belotta, the millionaire pharmaceutical baron. He made his money from amphetamines in the post-war slimming and diet yeah. boom. <laughs> Imagine it! Millions of housewives literally feeding their butts off. Was he killed for his money? No. He had no living relatives and his fortune went to the orphanage where he grown up. The only witness in the case was his Filipino au pair. She swears he was led to his death by a snowman. <laughs> No, no. What about do the that. Yep. second victim? Yamada, the controversial Japanese green politician. He inherited his fortune from his father's electrochemical consortium. He was committed to dismantling Japan's automobile industry. I can't see him gaining much support. Hey, you leave Honda Japan. alone, you Yamada bastards. Was a man of vision. <laughs> Sorry, dead now. He was years ahead of his That's time. right. If you say so. How did he die? At the end, or oh, should I say... Flippers of a giant emperor penguin. <laughs> a snowman, a penguin, and now a clown. You know, I hate and to admit it, but this the, uh, is scary. The HD and version what, where the first mission is to go to some guy that gets killed by mines. I don't blame you for being scared. Mm. I am too. This story could be my only chance of a big break. Puts a box around you or a and you find out it's a little box. No. You suffocate. No. <laughs> You speak very good English for a French girl. Thanks. You speak very good English from America. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. She told him. Found this false nose in the sewer. Touch it. It has Touch La Visée it. du Monde printed inside it. The laughing stock of the world. It's a costume shop near the Gare Saint Lazare. There I'll check go. it out. Now Maybe the owner this. remembers who hired the clown costume. Why don't you put it on, Georges? No way am I wearing this. I'd look really stupid. Besides, you might have had a cold. Damn it, that would have been a quick way to get into her pants. I found Make you laugh. tissue down the sewer. Yeah. Here, touch this tissue. Oh, poor, that's disgusting, Georges. <laughs> I think the stuff on it is grease paint. Like actors use. Or clowns. It's still disgusting, get rid of it. <laughs> I found a piece of material near the cafe. Or it's monkey spunk. You're disgusting. <laughs> when I showed it to Why the would there be monkey spunk in the right sewer? It's where the monkeys go. Just what monkeys? The flying ones that, that hang out in Notre Dame. George, it's an enlargement. What have you been smoking? <laughs> you move into you your place and you start name. fucking taking uh, heroin and some other <laughs> shit. The oh, fuck? <laughs> Not true, it's right. not true, you're gonna you get me an intervention. <laughs> Flying monkeys that hang around in Notre Dame but also live in sewers. What the? No, fuck? they don't live in, in sewers, the they go down there to spike. That's where they have their orgies. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, hello. How come you enlarge this Monkey photograph? Of me? Because I noticed the guy behind you, of course. <clears throat> a 
I'm going back out to search for that clown. Where? Well, I guess I could visit the costume shop. Good idea. Don't need your approval. Uh, you, you don't even get to explore a place. It just kicks you straight out. Just get out. It's fine. Done with you. We'll find the double-ended dildo and it'll break his heart. <laughs> <laughs> See that old woman there? Oh, That's a lover. God. But she goes down into her dark room. <laughs> Jesus. Bet it's got a red tint to it as well. <laughs> oh. That's disgusting. Oh, I made myself feel sick. Excuse me. Bonjour, monsieur. Please, come in. Welcome. Leave the mundane world behind. For in these four walls, fantasy is king. Uh, I don't want a costume. Didn't you ever dress up when you were a child? Not that I remember. Incredible! You'll be telling me next that you never shared your elder sister's lingerie. I don't have a sister, and but I think I'd look pretty silly in a brassiere. I just need some information. Of course. How can I help you? Do you want this red nose back? Not after it's been worn, thank you. Do you recognize this man? Oui, monsieur. I sold him some grease paint. Shit. The plot thickens. I'm looking for a man who hired a clown costume from you. Oui, monsieur. I do not see how I can help. Don't you keep a record of costumes that you've rented out? Of course, monsieur, but... Uh... Well, then, I'd like to check your records. Give me the names of everyone who's rented a clown suit. Now! <laughs> there like are a too many! It's getting right now. <laughs> Uh, it's not a spider. The clown I'm looking for is a cold-blooded killer. Give me his name, and I'll see he's brought to justice. I'd help you if I could, but you can't expect me to remember all my customers. You see, the clown costume is our most popular line, monsieur. On average, we hire out more than 30 clown suits a week. You'll Bloody have to hell. more to go by. A description, perhaps? Does this dirty tissue mean anything to you? Hmm. Let me smell that. Oh, God, yes. So he doesn't want to wear the nose because it's been warm, but it'll Best probably have to smell number seven, unknown fluid on it. White pancake. Oh. Theatrical grease paint, right? Oh, oui, monsieur. La creme de la creme of Cespian accoutrement. Have you sold any of it recently? Yes, two can. Are you sure this is the man who bought grease paint? Oui, monsieur. He chose two costumes. Bozo the clown and Shaman the National pixie. Pizza Day. A pixie? Very Ooh. smart. Sweet, I've got left a pizza from last night. With a taffeta pizza, pizza, lining. Pizza. He gave yeah, me his name pizza. as cool. Monsieur I'm liking that pizza more and more. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, nachos are good as well. Yeah. Uh, there's somebody that works there that you're not going to want to order pizza. No, I know who works <laughs> there, but... Are you yeah. sure this is the same man who hired the clown suit? I don't think they're touching my food. Hopefully yeah. not. I just won't order it just in case he sees my name and spunks in it. Yeah. Are you sure this is the... Sorry, I do under ape's name. Monsieur God. Monsieur Khan. Oh, thanks for your help, buddy. My pleasure, Monsieur. Allow me to shake you okay. by the hand. <laughs> it's fine. Huh? Uh, well, okay. Finally. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Put out your gun. What are you trying to do? Kill me? You did not find it amusing? I never saw the funny side of electroshock therapy. Eh bien, it is yours to keep. A gift? Do I need a license? No, but I give you a word of warning, monsieur. What? Remember to switch it off before you visit the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. See, it's got a lot of humour in it. It's, yeah. It, it's, even though we're investigating death. <laughs> but, you know, and then we can never go back there ever again. Oh. He's closed. He's dead. Depressing. Yeah, for some reason on Twitter, Spidey, hashtag Spidey is trending and hashtag Peter Parker. Really? Yeah. I'm not sure why. Bit weird. Hello?
Hello? Who is this? Mr. Todrick? Oh, it's you again. What now? What are you wearing? The man I'm looking for is called Khan. Khan! Remember? Mr. Khan. Yes, I remember him. Yes, I delivered the suit to his hotel. The Hotel Ubu. Uh, I uh, don't remember the room. It was upstairs. The second room on the right-hand side of the corridor. Thanks, Todrick. That's all I wanted to know. Now I've got you, Mr. Cloud. <laughs> Was that the Halo feature? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we... Seem dramatic and and like you know kick assy, <laughs> and kick ass. Funniest thing, this guy here. You will meet him later on in number three. Ooh. Excuse me, didn't I see your picture in the news? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Yes, that is me in person. I don't want to worry you, but have you had any experience in your life? You know, mysterious phone huh. calls, letters made up of headlines cut from the newspaper. Uh, Marvel what you're have released uh, future installments for the c cinematic universe. Uh, release dates through 2019, including Thor's next solo adventure, as well as first films for Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and The Inhumans. Mm -hmm. For Ragnarok. Do you recognize this man? He calls himself Khan. Yes, I know this man. Why do you carry Avengers his photograph? Infinity I'm War a part private one, detective. Part two. This is a photo of Khan, right? That is just one hmm. of the names by which he is known. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye. I want some information. Who are you? The police? I'm conducting a private investigation. <laughs> ah, I Is know only too on well what you mean. Twitter, that Lewis is Van one Gaal. of the drawbacks of and the catering business. Just when a mean people fat book Dutch into an hotel, they keep their morals at home. You know? <laughs> en route to winning the travel. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a guest by the name of Khan? No, Khan? Monsieur. Perhaps you would care to check the register. That he's allowing you him to do that. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Yes, monsieur. That man is one of our guests. What name? <laughs> I cannot tell you that. <laughs> Can you tell me which room the man in the photograph has taken? Oh, no, monsieur. That information is confidential. <laughs> hey, shake my hand. I'd rather not, monsieur. I'm still sore from the shock administered by one of the guests. He was secretly concealing an electrical device in the palm of his hand. Practical jokes are so puerile, don't you think? Oh, yeah, sure. Grab his face. Thanks for help, buddy. Thanks for your help. You didn't actually give me any at all. This lady's nice. She helps. Hi there, ma'am. Well, hello. What can I do for you? <laughs> I'm looking for a man. You disappoint me, my dear. For one foolish moment, I thought. But never mind. <laughs> Did the guys on the team get their nan to come in? The George. The George Stobart, ma'am. Hello. How sweet. <laughs> I once had a stable boy called George. <laughs> I am Lady Piermont. The common reaction is to kneel and stutter, but it's not obligatory. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're an honest Sassy guy, bitch. Really. Yep. Oh, I don't know She's about that. She's fantastic. Well, that's kind of my ancestors are honest, not even to God. I can trace my family back to the Normans, but don't let that intimidate you, George. Beneath that impressive... Big deal, I can do that too, too, and I fucking live in this shit shithole. <laughs> the blood Rich may be blue, but the flesh is a plump beef of the Enough. Yeah, French. Don't you appear distracted, George. That's fair enough. Got her own crest. It's Feliz. 
My family name was Wolf. We're I'm German. Looking for a murderer. Ah. You're You're a private detective. That's why where one of our mutual friends keeps calling me a Jew. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, I think your friend was the other side of the fence. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I think they came over before that. <laughs> yeah, they did. But <laughs> it's still funny. Have you not that genocide is at all Khan. funny, um, I, I might add. I, I, do, I do not uh, condone genocide. Genghis Khan wow, you're slipping up more than me today. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done this for a while. <laughs> I never heard of it. I'd be more surprised if you had, darling. He's a pharmacist in Hemel Hempstead. <laughs> Organise these fundraising for the Rotarian. Lovely man. Does he have a Lovely scar man. on his cheek? Oh, the Rotary Club! I really wouldn't know. Rotarians. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? My God, it's him! That's Merlin! She represented everything I loved about the English. The lady was totally deranged. Merlin? <laughs> you mean King Arthur's wizard? Good heavens, no! Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. I have to go, ma'am. Oh no, that's not what I meant to click. Oh, you fucked up. Hi, ma'am. John fucked up, son. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Oh, hello. The man you know as Merlin is a fake. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He also uses the name Khan. I am shocked, Mr. Stable. Shaken. I took him to be a gentleman, a man of honor. And letting yeah. him into my boudoir. Oh, Jesus. Him I let him have a nibble on my tits. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite delightful. When did you last see Merlin? It was no more Brilliant. than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what it's exactly. Pronounced clerk. A briefcase? Something no, passed hands. Morning. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Motherfucker. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantar's briefcase. And then she's like... I have to go. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do, 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 she says darling do, quite a lot. I think do. she's from Chelsea. She's, she's made, she's made in Chelsea. Now, monsieur? She says mummy and daddy. Chelsea. Oh, mummy. Would it make a difference if mummy. I told you the guy in the photo was a murderer? We are <coughs> accustomed to catering for celebrities, monsieur. <laughs> Movie stars, call it. I'd like to retrieve something from your safe. Ah. Oui, monsieur. May I see some form of identification? Uh, like what? A driving license, perhaps? I don't drive. Your passport? I don't have it with me. I could show you my operation scar. I'm sorry, monsieur. I must have some form of unique ID. You won't find a more unique ID than my scar. I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> Rats. Thanks for your help. There was no one registered under the name of Khan, but the name in the book for room 22 was Merlin. Merlin. How the fuck does he not see that? Excuse him, oh, monsieur. What? You were trying to steal that key, no? No. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> see, he's a dick. Does he need to distract him? Oh, yeah. Go talk to our friend. She will help us. She Hi, left. Hello, it's not a lift, it's a phone what box. What can I do for oh. you now? Well, it kind of looks like a lift that goes down. Would you crazy. distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? <laughs> I guess I am. Good heavens, I must be dreaming. I don't think so, ma'am. Now tell me, why do you want to get into that room? I'm hoping it's the key to Merlin's room. Well... How can I refuse? I shouldn't think my feminine charms would be much use in this case. <laughs> but a good dose of English arrogance might do the trick. <laughs> I say! You there! Flunky! 
madame. <laughs> Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. Good. I wish to deposit some jewelry for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, bien sûr, madame. Over to you, my dear. Get, 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 get. <laughs> Quick, before he gets back. Oh, shit! It's the most exciting thing that's happened so far. Not that it's not interesting. Just not exciting. I mean, we, we could get like, beaten up and killed in a minute if I don't do things correctly. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. But we're not going to do that. Why is it... Why does what? Do you understand the statues with no arms shit? No. Neither do I. Maybe they fit in places right like room. that if they didn't but have this arms. This was the right key. I guess, but people have them in their gardens as well. <laughs> didn't get it. Yeah. Bit weird. Bit serial killer. Yeah, it wasn't his room. My apologies for cutting out half the dialogue bits, but it's really not relevant. Meh. Nah. We're about results. Yeah. If they want to hear that dialogue, they can play it themselves. I'd recommend it. It's a very good game. I searched the interior of the briefcase. But as I'd half expected, it was probably dirt cheap and steam. It was empty. Oh yeah, I mean uh, it was like three quid when I bought the uh, HD edition. Let's have a look. Oh fuck! Why did I delete my Steam app? What the dick? Steam app? Yeah, get on your iPhone. You can um, talk to your friends on it mm. through Steam. Uh, buy games on it. Cool. Turns out there ain't fuck all in here. He's cleared the place out. What a bastard! <gasps> Shit, son. It's Merlin. It's Merlin. His dodgy trousers. Yep. I had the kind of feeling in my stomach that would usually send me running to the bathroom. Get in the cupboard. Yeah, I wish you'd let me do that bit myself so there could be like a, you know, a bullshit death scene coming up. Mm. And be like, what are you doing in my room? <coughs> um, <laughs> housekeeping. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's his Popeye look. Purple suit. Yep. It's because he lost the jacket for his... Uh, He's actually the Joker. His funky uh, green trousers. <laughs> Stop, thief! I yep, I'll add theft to it as well. <laughs> yeah. Two items in the pockets of the pants. Pickpocketing, I believe. Was an ordinary matchbook. No matches, no clues. The second was a pass card which read, Thomas Merlin, Gruber mm. Electronics Corporation. The matchbook bore a pattern of swirling color and the words. Club Alamut. And that won't get relevant to a lot later in the game. Ah. Foreshadowing. Yeah. <laughs> Uses some pretty uh, tasty techniques in this. Ah, my phone's freaking. Get, get it away from the mic. Alright. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, I slipped. Fuck. No. Is 
So I take it you're in this room, you look through some stuff, and you're like, oh, and you find a tampon. It's like, oh, this ain't Merlin's room. Fuck. <laughs> no, it's just there's nothing in the room. No. The mm -hmm. keys. There was no one ready, but the name in the. Oh, look at him, mints. <laughs> Hello, darling. What now, monsieur? Cocksucker. Does this pass mean anything to you? That is Monsieur Merlin's property. That's right. Merlin the murderer. I want to see what he's left in your safe. Impossible. I cannot betray his confidence, no matter what you say he's done. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. I can live with that. Dick. Thanks Bash for your help, buddy. Ahead with the fucking tool. Nope. We shall go and do what we always do. And we shall get someone else to fight our battles for us. <laughs> Hi, ma'am. We shall run to the British. Hello, That's usually how it works. <laughs> If the Frenchman's being mean to me, help British I lady. I found this pass in Merlin's room. So, that deceitful little man is passing himself off as an electrician, is he? Uh-huh. This guy probably has a million faces. I showed the pass to the clerk, hoping he'd give me Merlin's papers, but he wouldn't buy it. He's too scared. I'll give him something to be scared of. <laughs> Follow me, George! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shit! She's gonna strip naked. She's gonna fucking have him. <laughs> to show him the ways of the woman. Did you place a package from Merlin in the hotel safe? I did, madame. And did my friend here show you Merlin's identification? Indeed he did, but... What's the problem? He isn't Merlin. A mere academic detail. Give him the package. <laughs> but... That is against the law. I happen to be a justice of the peace, you silly man. I am the law. If you find I anything, shoot the him. Law. My pleasure, Lady Piermont. One moment, please. <laughs> you feel like pina colada. I haven't enjoyed I'm myself. Getting caught in the ring. I don't know what I would have done without you, Lady Piermont. <laughs> no, no, you have to wait until we do the Resident Evil episode to do the dinosaur theme. Holy hey. fucking <laughs> shit. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. It's a dinosaur. Oh, the clerk had given me a tightly rolled sheet of parchment. I decided not to unroll it until I was safely back in Nico's apartment. Let's not unravel it until we're back in Nico. You're disgusting. Hey, she's a honey. I told you she's a lesbian. The door was locked. Use your fucking key, you moron. Oh shit. I just noticed the fragile tape you used to tape up. <laughs> I didn't put that on there. I, on, <laughs> the, on, on the uh, side, I've got liquid um, sticky remover. Vinegar. I don't have vinegar. What kind of place do you think this is? Right, you've got a chip shop just down the fucking road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, excuse me, can I, can I borrow some of your, uh... You can, have, no, you can get a bottle of vinegar off of it. Yeah, you can. <laughs> and, you know, you kind of work in a place that... So. Oh, bullshit death, by the way. If you go out carrying that, uh, they, you get found out and they kill you. What? How does that... What? Did you notice the two goons that were outside of the, uh, the hotel? Yeah. If you uh, go out, when when you go out, they frisk you. If they find that on you, they kill you. What the parchment? Mhm. Mm oh, that's fucking harsh, man. See, Bullshit pretty death. much you have you have to go through that. That bollocks. Bullshit death. See, it's things like that that fuck me off with these games, and I, that's when I, I, I stop I can't playing. Like it. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Oh, he's a good pianist. Oh, this guy looks like a weasel. Just a minute, here. What's your problem? No problem. If you cooperate. What do you want? Fuck you! The routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. You don't know the place. Oh. Well, all right. Search him, Flat. You bet! Oh, 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 he's touching my penis. Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape. Eh, eh, he's got a pole in his pants. Zilch! Our apologies. Technically, I have. Yeah, what? yeah I've got that. I had a report oh, yeah, to the pole. authorities. Round here, we are the authorities. You want I should break his arms? No. Let him go, Flat. Dick. So one's Italian and one's American. I imagine it kind of American. Uh, Monkey. <laughs> you wait, I'm writing a letter to Obama for this. Who's <laughs> Bush Senior at this time, I reckon? Yeah, probably. I couldn't wait like early 90s. Uh, yeah, it could have been uh, Clinton. Really count his presidency. <laughs> oh, Clinton was brilliant. You're just now I'm not saying you what he wasn't, found. but yeah, he wasn't really in there for that long. Nah. And he got kicked out for being sucked off. So yeah. yeah. It's a good way of getting that kicked out, though. Yeah, it is. And he's still with his wife. Yeah. After it. That's why she's batshit crazy. Anyway. It's a medieval yeah. manuscript. So no way. She's just like, oh, I can be a politician to too. Take, take me seriously. No, you're fucking weird. It could be, which means it's worth enough to kill for. And I just don't trust this. Look at them, two guys on the same horse. Oh, okay. yeah. Maybe they couldn't afford one each. What of it? Have you ever heard of the Knights Templar? Their official seal was an image of two knights sharing a horse. Whatever this manuscript means, it's connected with the Templars. How come you know about these knights? I learned about them while writing an article on the Crusades. This guy, named Hughes de Payne, arrived one day at the court of King of Jerusalem. He offered to protect the Christian pilgrims from the displaced Muslim army. The king would be able to guarantee safe transit to Christians in the Holy Land. Safer journeys meant more pilgrims, and pilgrims meant trade and wealth. The Templars proved invaluable to the king as a mercenary army. It was said that they never asked how many the enemy numbered, just where they were. And as the years went by, the Templars grew in wealth and number. They were so rich, even kings came to them for loans. But at the height of their power, they fell foul of the King of France. He rounded them up and turned them over to the Inquisition. Thousands of Templars were subject to torture and confessed to heresy. Of course, at the end of the Inquisition, there wasn't much they wouldn't confess to. The last Grand Master Jacques de Molay was burned alive. But the treasure of the Knight Templar was never found. Fucking Templars. <clears throat> Until Nicolas Cage finds it. Jeez. So the treasure is hidden, waiting to be discovered. Well, that, the way she was saying it makes you kind of feel bad for those Templars. Mm -hmm. No. No, they ate people. We're supposed to be investigating a serial killer, not a medieval treasure trove. But maybe that's what the clown and his accomplices are after. Maybe this manuscript is the key. You'd better leave it here for safekeeping. Think about it, Josh. One guy's already died Jewish. for it, as you said yourself. Besides, <laughs> that parchment is fragile. Okay, okay, I'm convinced. You keep hold of it. Oh, she's gonna fuck you over so What bad. are you doing to help trace the killer clown? Research, George. Yeah? Like what? You You've have got a copy phone. of the clown's yearbook? I have a telephone and lots of contacts. Oh. Well, did you find she anything knows useful? She knows a guy, knows a guy, knows a guy. I'm employing my first <laughs> and most useful weapon. What's that? Patience. Oh, I've heard Jesus, of that. Jesus, the tone changed. Patience. <laughs> because I'm Batman. <laughs> Have you found out any more about the murders? Well, it may be nothing, but both the clan's victims visited Paris earlier this year. When? The second week of July. 
I, I figured it all out. Just Talia. <laughs> I found Plantow's briefcase in the killer's hotel room. It was empty, of course. <laughs> Tell me more about yourself. Ooh, that blue and shit. Oh, there is no much to yeah. tell. Yeah, well, I was painting on yesterday. Get into photography? I guess I owe that to my father. He bought my first camera. Code. I was eight and my parents had just split up. I don't know where we this some guy club was uh, selling stuff yeah, to raise fun for a new army. New yeah. um, so I, I, I bought his grey knights off him. Papa was all I needed. <sighs> Four years later, he died in a plane crash. So, oh yeah. That's a dread knight. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, guy right. in a giant robotic suit. I don't suit. mind talking about him. He was it's more so like aliens. an older brother, really. Always joking and laughing. Get away from her, Papa you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's why I went to college. Did you learn about photography at college? Oh God, no. I couldn't afford the materials. We were billed for everything oh, from paint, canvas, paper. Hey man, don't Most talk. Of my year turned to don't take the piss out of shooting you can't afford shit. To go that, in the park that would be why she's got empty photos she can paint as well. The only time I wasn't was the uh, okay. printing. I used to eat the oh, potatoes. I'll let her off. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Oh no. Do you have a boyfriend? Not anymore. <laughs> there was someone. A guy in my final year. But it didn't work out. Neither did my degree. I'm sorry. Yeah. Who's the dean? <laughs> Let's take another look at the manuscript. Ooh, easy, Tiger. Let's face it, we uh -huh. need help, George. Someone who knows about these things. Who do you suggest? Indiana Jones? Do 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 His name is Lobino. Libinu. Uh, some stuffy old fossil who gets horny over ancient relics, I suppose. Far from it. Andre isn't stereotypical professor you have in mind. Where can I find this Lobino guy? At the Crone Museum. Shouldn't take a piss out of archaeologists. I'll give you the address. Yeah. It's just fucking rude. I fuck you up. Or paleontologist. I prefer paleontologist. Or guy Maybe I'll check out the Crone Museum. <laughs> I'm sure. They get all of the pussy! <laughs> He must get bored of pussy. I reckon a fair number of them are gay. So we should do a study. Did you get bored of it? <laughs> Lame. It's enough of a vagina. Yeah. All I do, my entire life, vagina. Someone should do a study on like how many of them are gay. Because that would be quite interesting to know. Misery yeah. decree. You trying to get signal? Yeah, I've only got GPRS, I need 3G, at least. Because, you know, iPhones work like that, you can't get internet unless you have 3G. Yeah. It's not like a good old days. In the case was a spindly tripod, blackened with age and pitted with rust. It was identical to the tripod pictured on the manuscript. A notice identified it as 15th century from Western Ireland. It had been found in Loch Marne at the site Loch of the Marne. Nice Templar Sceptre. Ireland! What's that? <laughs> this tripod was found in Ireland. I will have to ask you to keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I was excited. <laughs> Why does no one else hear? Pardon me. Oui, monsieur? Are you Lobino? Oh, no. No. Are you mistaking me for him? No. no. I am the deputy. Custodian. But Labano does work here. Work? I wouldn't go so far as to call it that. He studies here most days, but as you can see for yourself, not today. Dick. Oh, fucking not man. today. God. Do you know anything about medieval manuscripts? <laughs> not me, monsieur. Mr. Security Guard, what is your opinion on 19... Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15th century, 15th century uh, archaeology. They ask you to park their cars. <laughs> they ask me to park them. No, no, no. They assume I am an authority on the exhibits in my care. Whereas you know next to nothing about history. <coughs> of course not. All I am saying is, I am no scholar. Not like Monsieur Lobino. Lobino. Do you, know anything you don't know about anything about the Templars. Of the temple? No, sir. Not a sausage. 
Can you give me any further information about the tripod? Certainly, Miss. I like smart glass. It's People can message me through Xbox tripod? and get it to my phone. Cool. That belonged to John Literally, Dick. I have so many messaging for things on my phone. I never need to text anyone or What's call anyone. What's the importance of John D's tripod? That's the way communication is going. He was the most going. famous yeah. of the 16th century. <clears throat> the Udini of his time. Don't you mean alchemist? Escapologists use ropes, chains, and handcuffs, not tripods. Kinky but bastards. Whatever he was, that is the tripod he used. Oh, the rich that Fifty Shades shit comes out. Yes, I have heard that. Thanks it's just for your booked, help. Like the entire first week that it's out. <laughs> have you actually like attempted to read any of the crap in it? No. The tripod was definitely the one of the magic. It's shit. I have heard. It's one of the worst written books I've ever seen. It's awful. And people are just going to lose their minds. Yeah. Tell you what though, stuff that came out with that, uh, B&Q employees have been briefed um, to expect more people coming and buying rope and chains and duct tape and masking tape. Brilliant. Yeah. And there's like a full briefing document that got sent to the BQ stores. Yeah. And at the end of the document, it's like, this, is, this information is to remain in store. Brilliant. <laughs> it's like, Several really? Hours later, I arrived Guess where we are? The Emerald Isle. I'd been lucky to get are a bus the Dublin, a tiny village of Loch uh, On the way out, the driver told me there was only you. one service a day. It's not, depends which part of Ireland we are in, but... Well, if it's Northern Ireland, you know, Republic of Ireland. Hello. How are you? Hi there. What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? Your mum. Rosso's the name. Murder's my game. Is you a detective? <laughs> Let's just say I'm here to find the truth. Cool. Just like on the telly. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? He's Irish. I run from me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Does he touch you? Sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption. I tried to buy her medicine. Chop firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I, see what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I roamed away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Compared to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. <laughs> what can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only... What? Oh, nothing. I am bastard. You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Give you a dollar. Oh yeah? <laughs> and what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh. There's a ghost. It's called the Phantom of Loch Man. Ooh, You're not spooky ghost. You ghost. Spooky ghost. Mr. I see it with your very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? Oh, oh, Horrible yes, Dennis. Yes. <laughs> like O'Brien's <laughs> dig, only worse. It was coming from inside the castle. <laughs> Did you Fuck. find out what was making the noise in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. 
The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The what? yard was full of shadows. I could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home, but my legs had lost their stuffing. What does this tissue. tissue mean to you? Nothing. Give me your hand. Get lost. Oh, come on. I just want to show you a little trick. No way, bad mister. Touch, I bad don't touch. do tricks. <laughs> Father Mahoney <laughs> told me I'd burn in hell if I did. I just want to shake your hand, that's all. Oh, all right. Gotcha. Neat, huh? Didn't feel a thing. Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No, I never seen him. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Yes, let's go get fucking shit very faced and drink booze and Irish whiskey. Ah, Guinness. Ah, I'm not, I don't like Guinness. I suppose I haven't tried it for years. The man's arm lay across the towel, preventing me from moving it. Such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Got <laughs> 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 a bloody good point. <laughs> anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. <laughs> You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police. Humor again. No. Yeah. I'd know it if you were. I feel his pain for the hay fever there. Yeah. That's why I like winter. Can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Dark barn castle is haunted. Yes, That's what the kid outside up. Is, yeah. But I don't believe it. Say no, then you're a but they still miss your head up. Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. To be it sure, to be sure. <laughs> Can you describe what? the ghost? It was horrible. A wee stunted beast. Long beak. Straggly, flappy wings. Are you <laughs> sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Loch <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> no. No. That was a ghost. To be sure. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lochmar. Oh. <laughs> Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around public. to stop me, is there? Public. That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. Dun, dun, dun. Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. <laughs> <laughs> do you recognize the man in this photograph? Sounds like good Is beer. Is that supposed to be you? No, I don't have a scar on my face and I'm not from the Middle East. I can't tell without my glasses. Oh, did you know you, you can buy um? I'll see you later. Vodka and tequila mix. Can you? Yeah, it's vodka and tequila, both spirits yeah. together. <laughs> I don't see the like vodka. Hello there. It doesn't taste it. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Use it as a nice mixer. To meet you, I'm sure. It's just hey, gone. Brain. Hey, can I yeah. help you? Not like rum. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Nope. 
We've never seen him before. What can you tell me about the castle, Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, you know. Most of the existing building was added much later, of course. Or the ruins opened the oh, no, There should be a bar fight going on right now. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. Can you tell me about the tripod which was found at the castle? Now there's a bone of contention and controversy. It was dug up by an Englishman of the archaeological persuasion. Who was this Englishman? <laughs> Professor P. The same man who dug up the gem. Pegram. Do you know where I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that man. He's dead. It's like, um, reminds me of the version of shipping up to Boston that, uh, they have in the first Sherlock Holmes film when he's fighting the guy. Yeah. More than that. In the ring. There's the question of an unsettled bid. Poor Michael seen red over the business. And I don't blame him. I didn't mind those Can you tell me more about the landlord? Yeah. Mick Leary? It's what you call a, a would-be sophisticated. The trouble is, his idea of sophistication extends as far as putting paper in the lavatory. I never worked out why he did that. It's much too dark in there to read. <laughs> That's true. Have you ever run your hand over the back of the door? The graffiti is written in braille. <laughs> Do you know where Pegram is gone? I'm sorry, but I don't. You've done Do you remember that TV show Arthur? Yes, I do. The guy there looks like him. <laughs> oh yeah, he does. He is. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, where the fuck's DW? She's dick. <coughs> oh god, I remembered that. What can you tell uh, me about the gem? It's not good. <laughs> now there's a gem which should never have been taken. A man would have to be full of greed to covet that. What's your interest in the gem? I keep seeing people out like of the window. Reporter, like, are you? you touching my bike? You fucking touching my bike? Yes, that's right. Another bloody news hound. But you wasted your time here, boy. Hey, on the plus Despite side, the I haven't actually encountered the meth head yet. Lot. That's alright then. Yeah. Have you got something to hide? <laughs> it's just that we don't like to wash our dirty laundry. Yeah, it doesn't leave his room. How can I get into the castle? You haven't this smelled anything either. It's closed, locked, barred, and bolted. Plus, I don't, I don't, well, I don't, I only go into the main building to check my electric. No. So I can't don't have any other reason to uh, go in there. No. Every now and again, my bloody uh, post gets delivered there. Uh, good riddance to you. <laughs> As I said, just at some point grab hold of the post person. Yeah. And be like, Oi, you wanker. Probably shouldn't do that. It's a little Asian lady, I might scare her. Almost okay, as if he'd buy some Kohli noodles, cook the old derelict snatch the wire from the table. Yeah, some ramen. Oh, ramen. Yeah, that, that's what. Do you remember the Kohli noodles? Uh -huh. They're instant ramen. Mm -hmm. It's fucking. Oh, so good. I have a uh, miso in my cupboard. Mm, miso. <laughs> Mine. Oh, oh, no, you don't. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait for him to start sneezing. <laughs> Instant ramen's really popular in uh, Korea, like South Korea, where they're allowed it. It's because ramen's nice, nice, nice ramen. But it's like they're fast food. Like as soon really as the old guy looked away, them. I grabbed this piece of wire. My wire. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, it's your awful South Korean horror. The man's film. arm lay across. <laughs> Jesus. It's called The Host. Fucking terrible. Don't watch it. As the man raised his arm to drink, I snatched the towel away. Top of the morning to you. Oh dear. Oh. I beg your pardon. Well, that's what you Irish say, isn't it? Oh. Do you want something? Or are you just flaunting your xenophobia? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it a room you're after? He just gets trolled by everybody. Oh. That's not a bad idea. Do you have a vacancy? I could. If you don't mind waiting until the last guest checks out. No problem. When will that be? When the Undertaker comes to collect him. <laughs> <laughs> do you know a man called Pegram? Indeed I do. <clears throat> Are you a friend of his, by any chance? No. Oh no. I'm just trying to track him down. Me too. That son of a bitch should be locked away. 
Did Pegram stay here? That's right. In the best room in the house. That's the one with the bed. <laughs> Can I see Pegram's room? It's been taken by one of the brothers from the reformatory. They come every year for spiritual refreshment. That's a good one. Their idea of refreshment is a good full of stout. I wouldn't want to disturb a man of God. Especially not a big fella from the bad boy's home. I don't blame you, Mick. That brother's got muscles like a muscle man. Brilliant. Have you served any, uh, clowns recently? No. You're the first today. <laughs> Seriously. I'm looking for a man dressed in a clown costume. Um, Why? No, he's not wearing a clown costume anymore. We've seen him. I, I shouldn't think so. <laughs> Fucking Americans! Thanks. Wearing a clown costume. They just cling on to something. Yep. They can't get it out of their thick heads. Hi, Arthur. My name's George. Pleased to meet you, Mister. My name's Fitzgerald. Do you know Professor Pegram? <laughs> yeah, you do. He's the archaeologist, isn't he? That's right. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? Have you heard about the gem which Pegram found? Well, I've heard a rumor, but you can't believe everything you hear or see, can you? Where yes, it was that night he was carrying that really big diamond. I heard he's gone fishing. I don't know where. What can you tell me about the castle? There's nothing there. Just an old woman. I think how old? I think tall. I really couldn't tell you. Do 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 Have do. Have you do, ever explored do, the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes when I was a kid. Then one of the little ones fell Should off the wall, the broke his head, and died. We didn't go there anymore. You Bring the mood the down. No. See you later. You should make your own ale. Hi, yeah, I'm tempted. Snowboard, George There's snowboard. a website we can get. Like, Hello there, mister. You can what get can it from uh, Wilco's in town. How big's the bucket? I don't know. I haven't looked into it. Do you know Professor Pegram? Do I know him? Do I know the bucket. good professor himself? No, I don't. Because you made some I mean, first year of I know he Actually, is. ends up being quite nice. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, a bit weak. Do you know anything ends up being 3.8%. Only that he didn't have yeah. the right tools. How do you know what percentage is? What he needed was uh, stones you get a, and a JCB. In the Pegram was that digging for a stone of remains. Thing that that it. Mm. Is that a fact? What the hell for? It's the science of archaeology, part. Understanding how people used to live by what they left behind. One day archaeologists might be digging up our remains. Imagine that, Mr. O'Brien. I wonder what they'll find. Well, it won't be arrowheads and beakers. Fast food cartons and flavoured condoms, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone from the village work at Pegram's Dig? I tried it myself, but that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. <laughs> what a nerve. Hadn't I dug more holes than the rest of them put together? Do you remember seeing Sean Fitzgerald at the dig? <laughs> hmm. Let me see now. I think me brain box needs a spot of lubrication. Can I buy you a drink? You most certainly can. Give me a drink for my friend here. Who? Doyle? Has he conned you into buying for him? Shame on you, Patrick. Same again. Just a point this time, Michael. One point of round coming up. Just a point. Do you remember Sean Fitzgerald now? I can picture the scene as if it was only last week. Come to think of it, it was only last week. Fitzgerald was there all right. Fuck's sake. And a bunch of students. He was speaking with the boss man. Yeah, you can make super strong air if you use one. Right for now. Yeah. Get like 12 to 15 percent ale. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But it could you know, also turn you blind. <laughs> That's not high enough. 
worth a try. Told me you definitely Needs to hit at least like 99. You don't believe him here. <laughs> Anything but 96 points. I don't know, I've had Dark Star Even Imperial so, Stealth, he saw you which is the both the taste and consistency, and look and smell of Marmite. And it's 11.9%. Oh, I wouldn't have... See you later. <clears throat> hey! Hello there again, mister! Can you tell me... Oh, I don't... You're... Would you... That's right. I thought... Yeah, I am. How come you didn't leave? I didn't know they'd... Bye. Mm. Excuse me. What now? Oh, nothing. Uh, good riddance. It's a bad rubbish. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. Do you recognize the name on this card? No. Should I? No. Nah, it was a long shot. Thanks. Hmm. See you later, drunkards. What do you want to know? Fuck off, man. You know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? <laughs> he's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't because he's not here now. But if I seize him, I'll ask him. <laughs> do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure. Jewels and gold and skeletons. Like in the films. Film. Do you know anything about Pegram's dig? He wouldn't let me anywhere near it. I offered to help, but he chased me off. I didn't want to see his smelly old hole anyhow. <laughs> oh. Did anyone from the village work at the dig? <laughs> no Pegram one wanted to be inside Pegram's smelly hole. He reckoned cool no one in Lochman would know what to look for. Jesus. The only local guy who worked for him was Sean Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald says he's never been anywhere near the dig. He's having you on, mister. <laughs> Are you sure Fitzgerald worked at the dig? Oh, yes. It was him, all right. Would I tell a lie? Well, he denies it. We saw them together only last night. I wish you'd told me that sooner. What were they doing? Pegram gave Fitzy a box. He didn't look too happy about it. I knew it. But how am I going to persuade him to part with it? Break his fingers. No, I couldn't do that. I could. Thanks for the offer, kid. <laughs> but I'll try a more subtle approach. Chinese burns? <laughs> See you later. Okay, mi Give me a sec. I'll be back. I think I'll break some fingers. Try Who are you gonna have? Bleach in his mouth. Do, 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 do. Arthur, you've been lying to me. You lying Hello. shit! Maguire says he saw you working at the thing. What's more, he saw you talking with Pegram. <laughs> Sketchy bastard. I knew this would happen. I knew I'd get caught. Just my luck. Grasped up by a delinquent and a dimwit. I need to talk to Professor Pegram, if he's still alive. <laughs> what do you mean? Is he in danger? Yeah, you too if I'm right. You're not in the social security. Hell no, what makes you think that? Well, uh, I was claiming benefit at the same time I was working for Pegram. Yeah. You motherfucker! <laughs> you That's fucking you bastard. All I want is to talk to Pegram about the gem. <laughs> but he's not here! I know that, but he left that... Package with you, didn't he? He gave you his package. <laughs> so where did Pegram go? I don't know. I swear it. He came to see me early this morning. Said he was leaving. Yeah. Uh, I can never get that angry with people who cheat the benefit system. Look at politicians. Yeah. 
Show what they get? Package, Sean. It just dwarfs. I, I can't do that. Why not? The I promised the professor. So what? You didn't have any qualms about your benefits, Cam. So where's the harm in taking a peek inside oh, another rich people package? Using you don't bank know accounts. these people. I can't. I don't dare. This is your last chance to show me the package, Fitzgerald. Show me your package. You, <laughs> but now it's time to kick ass. But he'll kill me. Who will? The man from Paris. Jack Marquet. Pegram told me if I gave him the package unopened, I'd hear no more about it. But if I double cross Marquet, I'd be dead. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? <gasps> no. Uh, at least I don't think so. Look closely. He has a scar on his face. No, I'm sure I don't know him. I'll deal with Jacques Marquet. No, I said no. Give the package I need an adult. Me. I need an adult. <laughs> no. Why What's in the box? Me? I don't know who to trust anymore. I wish I'd never even heard of the Lockmarn gem. Mm, they come back, Arthur. Fuck! He's cheesed it. Hey! I just seen a big red! Get out of here, Maguire! Come back when you're old enough! What's the lad howling about? Oh, these days. The kids weren't even allowed on folks. Sean Fitzgerald's been run over. Get out! Well, not in the lounge. Noisy little tyke. Maybe you should send out some medicinal brandy maker. Oh, yes. And who's going to pay for it? Not me. Me too, neither. Okay, let's go and investigate this. There's not many good pubs left in Bogner anymore, is there? Uh, I was stunned. telling the truth about Fitzy, Mister. In the fire, okay, okay, right? Calm down. Now tell me what happened. I was standing here, minding my own business, when I saw this beautiful red sports car coming up over the hill. What you look at that, says I, and I going over to take a closer look. Next thing. Fitzy comes tearing out of the pub and nearly knocks me on the ass. But the car just flies at him. It was too fast for poor old Fitzy. And hit him an awful wallop. He goes flying up on top. Jesus, says I. I thought he was a goner. Next thing, the driver hops out. And I couldn't believe my eyes. What the fuck? He was dressed like a bloody pixie. Did this pixie have a scar on his cheek? I couldn't see. He was wearing a stupid mask. Are you a special agent? Sorry to disappoint you, kid, but I'm not. I heard that Pegram had found a legendary gem. That's right. It's been the talk of Loch Man all week. You haven't seen the gem, have you? Hell no. I reckon Pegram made yeah, no. off with it. If I was him, I'd go to Amsterdam, chop it up, and sell it. He could be living the life of Riley instead of digging holes. Did Fitzgerald it drop up. anything when he was hit? Yeah, I, I think not. See. It all happened so fast. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. I pushed the switch down. But in doing so, it snapped off in my hand. Clots.
I'll try a glass of beer, please. Is beer, me. Is your first pint of what real ale? What time do you go to work? Uh, well, uh, I guess so. Do, 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 do. What's real ale? Uh, anyhow? Stop beer that grow from place. natural ingredients <laughs> to traditional methods. <laughs> it shouldn't be kept under pressure. Bad. Or refrigerators. An hour or so. And finally, it should have That's a good body safe. and distinctive character. In other words, it's flat and warm with bits in, and it makes you fall over. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the pump appears to be broken. I could fix it for you. I don't think so. This is a job for a professional electrician. Oh well, at least the glass washer is still working. <laughs> it's not my dear, is it? It just so happens I'm an electrician. Check out my credentials. Well, no. Isn't that marvelous? He's a lying bastard. Now I'm fascinated with an electrician. Wiring of a way with nature. Here's you, an electric man. An electric man. I still want to see what you can do before I let you touch me beer pumps. You can make a start on the glass water. Yeah, I'm not letting you loosen my pipes yet. Jesus. And when you finish that, will you take a look at the pumps? Don't try to say him, kids. I replaced the fuse with a piece of wire. I knew it was dangerous, but I was desperate enough to disregard everything I knew about standard safety precautions. Excuse me, Mr. Leary. I fixed your glass washer, no problem. Bingo! And a blessing to all the saints. A free half pint to that man on the house. Now, could you take a look at the beer pumps? Oh, I guess so, but I'm not making any promises. If you can't fix them, I'll have a riot on my hands. The pumps are in the cellar, right? That's right. You'll find a flashlight down there somewhere. <laughs> Okie dokie. What a dumb place to store a flashlight. A dark cellar. The only way I was going to find anything down there was to feel around. I pushed the lever and heard the grating of metal, but nothing appeared to happen. Hmm? Just going out to my electrician's van. <laughs> I've run out of the got, 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 to, got to get a screw fix. <laughs> I lifted the trap door and an overpowering smell of stale beer rose from the cellar below. I looked down on a stone tiled floor. Way too far to jump. Don't know, let's try. Fuck! Uh oh. Excuse me. There was a nasty feeling in my guts I usually associated with light opera. It was Khan. What's <laughs> wrong? Did you see what happened here a few minutes ago? What was that? What? A man was involved in an. Him shitting himself. <laughs> I didn't see anything. What about the boy? Uh, he doesn't know anything either. The kid. Well, you know how it is in these rural communities. Not enough genes to go around. I prayed McGuire had the sense to keep his mouth shut. Was the guy hurt bad? He's been taken care of, but he thinks he dropped a small parcel. You didn't happen to find it, did you? If I had, I would have taken it to the police. Of course. Thank you. Now I have to go change my underwear. Shot it. 
Here's a fucking flashlight. Then I noticed a flash of light. Something sparkling beneath the open trap door. It's only a fucking gem. Fuck. It was Pegram's gem, all right. A large, uncut blue stone. As I held it aloft, I realized the fascination it could command. I yeah. guess I was already under its spell. Oh, I'm rich. See you later. Did you find it? <laughs> what? Whatever you was looking for. Uh, yeah. Listen, McGuire. I want you to keep this to yourself. No problemo. Just chuck us up a crate of lager. No way. You're not old enough. We can sell it and make some cash. Forget it, kid. I couldn't betray Mr. Leary's trust. I could. For <laughs> sure. That old misery goods deserves it. If you want to do me a favor, keep a lookout for that guy in the suit. Okay. But it'll cost you a pack of the chips. Oh, and shout if you see that Ferrari. Oh, he just used a brand name. Oh. The faucet creaked, coughed, and spewed out a stream of rusty colored water. Drink it. Nom. I held the towel under the faucet and soaked it with water. What the fuck? Reasons. <laughs> we need to get water to some place that doesn't have water. Beer map. What place in the island doesn't have water? Oh, well, not running water. Puzzle solving. You understand when we get there. <laughs> we might not even get there, we might get to a part that just fucking annoy the shit out of us in that. Hello, sir. I want that to all fall on them. Hi. Do you speak English? Well, no. What if I was to say no? An implication of cognizance shrouded in denial. A pretty poser of a paradox indeed. I gave him the look I'd perfected when I was 12 and was going to be the greatest hypnotist of all time. It was a killer. Are you attempting to hypnotize me or is it the constipation you're suffering? I was a little out of practice. <clears throat> Did you happen to see a red sports car down on the road? I caught a glimpse of a flash of red on the hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car? And what was it doing here? The poor fella must have been lost. <coughs> the driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. Is that so? Yeah. He knocked somebody down outside the barn. What an idiot! How could a thing like that happen? He was traveling too fast. So fast, he ran right under the car. I mean, the car was traveling too fast. But you'd have thought the idiot could have heard it coming. Maybe you know the guy who was hit by the Ferrari. His name is Sean Fitzgerald. Oh, I know him all right. That's me nephew, the idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh, no. But he has been abducted. Well, that's a relief now. <laughs> Aren't you going to look for your nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you could report the matter to the police. Better not. Besides, what could they do? Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. <laughs> In a question of superior acceleration, I put me money on the Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> I think you ought to know exactly what Sean has gotten himself into. I'm not sure I want to know. But you're his uncle. His own flesh and blood. You're right. But what can I do? If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb the haystack. What a moral dilemma. Stay here and guard this potentially lethal agricultural construction. <laughs> or to go off in search of the prodigal nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard. It would need some thinking about. Why, 
there's no problem. You're right. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. <laughs> you don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for Sean. I'll stay here in your place and warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvelous! I think I should start the inquiries at the bar. Yeah, he strode nah, off in the direction of McDevitt's bar, leaving me to contemplate the stack of hay. Spider George, Spider George, does you whatever. You fucking idiot! Spider George does. The stack of hay stopped short of the top of the wall. Even if I stretched as far as I could, the wall was out of reach. What I needed was a slice or two of Alice's Wonderland. Jump. Oh, no, something came up. I inserted the end of the lifting key in the mortarless crack and gave it a firm shove. It remained lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. Okay. Mm. Get ready for the most annoying thing. A goat! Shit. Fucking hate this damn fucking goat. <laughs> fucking goat. Believe I did that first time. Usually it takes me about fifty fucking attempts <laughs> on the PlayStation version. It's so fucking hard to do that. Become tangled yeah, on the old don't have a mouse. Fuck you, you fucking <clears throat> goat. <clears throat> and he can't re reach his food either, so the goat is now dead. Yeah. And he deserves. Killed an animal. Well, he gored me. Okay, he is a master of this. Yup. The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. As I swung the stone upright, I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. As I dipped my fingers into the soft white powder, I realized what it was. Cocaine. Plaster of Paris. I'd used it in kindergarten to make casts of animal paw prints. I placed my fingers in the five impressions left by the fallen stone. It was weird. They fit perfectly. That's not why I asked you to do that, was it? <laughs> <laughs> I sprinkled the plaster. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's dry. I squeezed the towel as hard as I could. But it was barely dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bullshit. Just gonna have to do a fucking talking. You. Oh, fucking hell. What? You gotta go all the way back to the fucking sink! Yeah. Oh, it's a bullshit. I should just go. <laughs> go out for a smoke. Ah, <laughs> you'll be lucky. Can't get to the door. <laughs> Fuck your door. <laughs> yeah. 
I already talked to this bit of your other half. And she said it was a really good idea because it stops you smoking. I'm going to shit on both of you. Because <laughs> I was like, he won't be going out for cigarettes every five minutes because uh, he can't get to the door with the computer chair in the way. We need to play console games. Yeah. We'll be on the sofa, it's fine. Yeah. Capture things all the way over there now. And to get an extender. Yeah, I was just thinking. How does it get connected to the computer? By a really long USB. <laughs> Fucking. It's like. Two it, metres worth. It was either that or a really, really long uh, component cable, and I don't. Well, I held the towel yeah, fuck that. It's so easy with just doing a USB. Yeah. But, totally worth it. Yeah. Just for comfort. Yeah, we have a sofa and everything. Yeah, my sphincter will be a lot better. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with the chair? It's a nice chair. It's, it's a good chair. Barking. The high, you just don't know, man. You just don't know. You just, you don't. Walk quicker, the towel's gonna dry. Climb quicker, my towel's gonna dry. Backtracking. Yeah. At least it's not the Monkey Island one where you have to uh, take the grog halfway across the bloody map. And then yeah, it eats through the glasses, so you have to keep uh, pouring it in different tankards. Oh. Fuck that. That <laughs> fucking goat. Yeah, fuck you, goat. You'll be dead soon. And then we eat you. trickle of water was quickly absorbed by the plaster. Fuck me, that was I quick. I eased the solid piece of plaster from the sand. Underneath, it had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Open, says me. The hardened plaster cast fitted snugly into the five matching sockets. There was a soft thud. Then, silence. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Do, 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 do. Through the mountain! Secret, secret tunnel! And this is why we picked up the torch. Hmm, <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Is that how much you want in rent for this mm. place? Yeah, pretty easy. Mon Fauchon. Nico. So, where did you stay last night? At McDevitt's. I got to drinking with Doyle and a couple of the guys. That explains why you look so ill today. Did you get any sleep at all? Not much. I had to share the room with another guy. Did mm -hmm. he snow? Hardly. He was dead. Yeah. Then Leary woke me in the middle of the night to help bail out the cellar. The cellar was flooded? <laughs> yeah. Some idiot had left the faucet running. And his, his <laughs> had disappeared? Without a trace. But my visit wasn't a complete waste of time. P. Grand's gem? The One Templar same. Gem. Whoever Jacques Marquet is, he's in for a disappointment. Jacques Marquet? <laughs> he's the guy who should have collected the gem from Fitzgerald. I've been reading about Picram in this magazine. Do you want to get off the table, mate? The media got its claws on him. Yeah, if Tables I was for glasses, not asses. Mm -hmm. Dick smack. You call him Dick smack. Say what? You call him Dick smack. Pretty important. To yep. Him. He resigned his chair at Durham University to go to Ireland. And now he's disappeared. Mm. 
See what you can find out about Professor Pegram. I'll speak to the university. What are your plans? I want to find out who, what, or where Montfasson was. All I've got to go by is the name and a picture of a hanged man. Lovely. I can't sit here all day, much as I'd like to. I got okay. shit to do. Don't forget to look for Lobino at the Kron Museum. And why don't you see if Hosso has heard anything? Okay. Anything else I can do for you while I'm out? Shopping, a trip to the laundromat? Just take care of yourself. Sexist bastard. It's not sexist. The sexist would be if he sent her shopping to the laundromat. She's thinking that's all she would want done. No, that's missing. Want me to wash your uh, unmentionables? Maybe she wants a packet of fags and a pint. Right? Yeah. What about that? No, because that would be English and he's a yank. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Rob, you didn't. I'm not really into that sort of thing. Lies. Totally are. Your mother. Brilliant. Oh, check out that ass. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Are you Andre Lobano? Lobano? That's me? You want my autograph? No. I was told you may be able to help me. Help? My name is George Stobart. I'd like your professional opinion. Well, okay. Shoot. Does the name Montfasson mean anything to you? Sure. It was the most grisly spectacle in Paris until the revolution. A public toilet? Montfasson was the place of execution for many thousands. A dark temple of death, with row upon row of arches, each one framing a grim exhibit. Scores of rotting corpses swung on creaking rope, while the crows devoured their flesh. Their flesh. That explains the image of the hanged Some man. I found a reference to Montfasson in Ireland, in a village called Lochmarne. Lochmarne. Oh, fucking damn it. That's where Pigram was digging. That's right. He'd left the excavation before I arrived. Do you know Pigram well? Not really. I met him at a conference. I would have liked to talk to him in depth, but I didn't have time. When was this? Oh, uh, back in the summer. Uh, July, I think. The second week of July? Maybe. Yes, it was. Uh, just before Bastille Day. So Pegram was in Paris at the same time as the other victims. Pardon? Victims of what? Uh, nothing. Murder. Just thinking aloud. Murder most foul. Where was the site of Montfaucon? To the northeast, near the Canal Saint-Martin. But there's nothing there now. The old gibbet was torn down during the Revolution. The Revolution. I'd like your opinion on a medieval manuscript. Vraiment? Do you have it with you? No, it's too fragile. It's and besides, assassin, there are certain people who'd stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Intriguing. Uh, do you have a copy of the text? There isn't much. Only a few Latin phrases. I was kind of hoping you'd help decipher the pictures. Without seeing the manuscript, uh, that's a tall order. Just tell me one thing. What does the image of two men riding on the same horse suggest to you? Nice Templar. The Knights Templar. Does the Templar seal appear on this manuscript? I'd love already. to see that yeah. for myself. He's in the disbelieving bastard. The manuscript is being looked after by a friend. In Paris? Yeah. Not far from here, in fact. Well, uh, just give me the address and I'll uh, come round and take a look. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I should check with her first. A female friend? Yeah, uh -oh. she's a woman. Maybe it was my imagination. But I noticed a predatory look in his eye. Suddenly, this friendly historian had turned into the big bad wolf. My best. This friend who has the manuscript? Ah, uh, we, uh, the anonymous girlfriend. She lives at 361. Dude, what the Jerry. fuck? <laughs> ah, I know it well. I'll drop by. As she been when and she is. Oh, this guy right? seems like a predator. Yeah, welcome. Fucking... Oh, yeah, here's your address. <laughs> yeah, job done. Fuck. The guy's a dickhead. 
Yeah, he is. <laughs> In the ghetto, it's going to be a raped and beaten corpse. Of him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> In French, English, and German, it read, In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the knightly order of the Templars and excommunicated its members on charges of heresy. In the following two years, many of the knights were hanged on this site. Their Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, was burnt at the stake on an island in the Seine. An architectural echo of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. People got fucked up. We get it. Excuse me, officer. And how may I help you? He seems drunk. What do you know about the Knights Templar? Les Templiers. Only that they were excommunicated in 1312 and hanged in their dozens within this very square. Boy, what they teach in the police academy these days. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. Shouldn't you be off directing traffic or something? You have seen the Parisian traffic, no? Yeah, so? I could direct the traffic, the most dangerous, the east side of Rome, or I can sit here and enjoy the sun, the architecture, and the Soso Sauvignon. Which would you choose? Yeah, but I'm not a policeman. <laughs> what happened to duty? An excellent <laughs> question, monsieur. Does this red nose mean anything to you? Aha! A prosthetic nose. Very significant. It is? No. I am <laughs> just having a little joke. <laughs> He's so drunk. I'll see you around. We oui, I didn't have time to sit up. Go look at the tomb. Waiting in prayer for the judgment day. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. Just think, there's a dead guy under there. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Dead man. Dead man. Come this way. Come this way. And run quicker. <coughs> See, that's the sort of thing that tries my patience. I couldn't open it with my bare hands. Well, that's why I only to use the great tool. Hey! Hey, you! What do you think you are doing? Leave that cover alone! Now! <coughs> mm. Sorry, no harm intended. You stay away from that! Okay. I just believe. I just, I just believe. Oh, hi. Uh, 
I didn't expect you back so soon. Oh yeah. She's having a wank. <laughs> She just cleaned herself off after Andre came in. What do you know about Professor Pegram? I've been a television program. <laughs> He's written a book, The Crusader Families of Ireland. Let's take an. That's the gem that Pegram found in Loch Marne. That's the tripod in the Crew Museum. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. She reminds me of the Wicked Queen in Snow White. She was the one who said mirror, mirror on the wall, wasn't she? She made me cry so much when I was a kid, Mom carried me out of the movie theater. She didn't frighten me in the least. Like I said, I was only a kid. I didn't like the crocodile in Peter Pan either. Why not? At night, with a crystal Oh, there's something written on the <coughs> scroll beside the knight. Yes, but it's written in Latin. Her disciplina. By my teachings, you will see the light. You speak Latin? Where did you learn a trick like that? A trick? I studied law, okay? I can read Latin. Ma, you're touchy. Tell me that again. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. There's a guy working on a loom. He's weaving a loom. carpet or a tapestry. Or a duvet yeah, cover. It's a, loom band. it's a clue to a place, I reckon. Somewhere Fucking famed things. for weaving and ships. Where folk live in barrels? It beats copper boxes. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. The only mythological bull I know of is the Minotaur, but he was only half bull. I don't think I'd like to... What's that up? It looks like a gem on top of a tripod. Tell me more about your family. When I was oh, little, no one they were my grand. One day, I laughed and with it. What did he say? He said, yada, yada. Don't I wish. Have you found out any more about the Knights Templar? Yes, I have. The guy responsible for the downfall was Philip IV, the King of France, otherwise known as Philip Le Bel. Well, he is known to history as Philip II. Fucking douchebag. But I doubt if the Templars called him that. I'm sure Andre will tell you all about him. I'll see you again. Okay. 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 Uh, fuck me now. Uh, there's a flag that we haven't initiated yet. What, to boner? No, not to boner, just to continue the game. Yeah. Fourth flag not found. <laughs> Wanna really fuck the uh, security guard off? You fuck around with the uh, the window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please do not open the window, monsieur. Don't you think it's kind of stuffy in here? Better stuffy than dead. What's the problem? Fumes from car exhausts? Not just that, monsieur. There's a new vagabond opened up across the street. The laughing buffalo. So what's the problem? They cook their burgers on a charcoal grill. And the fat falls on the open flame. The amount of organic compound and smoke particles released is Astounding! Since they open, local air pollution has doubled, and it stinks like a funeral pile. That is why I keep the windows closed. So don't fuck with the windows. Hi, Andre. Does it smell like a barbecue? That's what Hello, good. Georgie. What can you tell me about Philippe Lebel? <clears throat> he was responsible for the extermination of the Knights Templar. I know that. But why was Philip so hot to get rid of them? Mostly because he wanted to get his hands on their treasure. He had an enormous debt and a lifelong war with England to fund. <laughs> the trouble was the Templars were a highly respected holy order. If the Templars were so powerful, 
How did this Philippe dude wipe them out? By underhanded, dishonorable means, of course. <laughs> the Pope was Clement the Fifth, a Frenchman. French, huh? Handy for Philippe. Fate had nothing to do with it. He was Philippe's puppet, planted to further his political ambitions. Philippe wanted the wealth of the Templars and used Clement to get it. So what was Philippe's plan? What happened? Sealed orders were sent out all over France, not to be opened until the appointed day. That day was Friday, July 13th. That's the origin of our superstition regarding that date. At dawn, throughout the whole of France, the Templars were arrested. This Friday is Friday the 13th. It was the biggest oh, is it? Yeah. in the history <laughs> of the world. What happened to the Templars after their arrest? Ah, that's why it's my day off. Friday the 13th, Templars over to the Inquisition. <laughs> Not surprisingly, they confessed to a sensational yeah. and saw that list of... So we said one in March as well. Like what? It's oh, free yeah. for the things you this read about in the gutter uh, okay. press. I know that. Devil worship, lewd sexual practices, <laughs> spitting on the Holy Cross, that kind of thing. Well, that must have given their lawyers Vision some headaches. Year, Whether or not the accusations were true, no, this was least not too. good publicity. Most of the charges were probably cooked up. Because I remember saying. But so were the Templars. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. More than. Hundreds of them were found guilty of heresy and flame grilled at the stake. They died protesting their innocence. But surely Philippe had no proof of his charges against the Templars. A man will admit anything under torture. The Inquisition fabricated some nonsensical demon called Baphomet, and then suggested to the victims that this was what they worshipped. But they didn't have to agree. The records show a Templar coming to trial with both feet burnt off. Fragments of flesh and charred bone falling from the stamps. <laughs> what would you not admit to, to stop such torment? So there was no truth at all in the Baphomet accusations? Not a shred. <laughs> Almost every victim described the idol differently. No, Baphomet never existed outside the sick minds of the Inquisitors. Fucking so Felice stole the Templar's riches, huh? Oh no, they weren't stupid. The king's troops marched first on the temple in Paris, then to the Templar home port at La Rochelle. There was no trace of the treasure, and the fleet of the Knights Templar had set sail. Can you tell me anything about the Knights Templar? I sure can, Georgie. Soldiers, diplomats, mercenaries, monks, bankers, you name it, the Templars fit the bill. The greatest fighting force in Christendom, the Militia of Christ. Jeez. Christ. How did the Templars get their name? From the building in which they set up their headquarters. The King of Jerusalem gave them part of a mosque on the Temple Mount. It was said to have been the site of the original Temple of Solomon. The order became known first as the Knights of the Temple, and later as the Knights Templar. You're a mine of information, Andre. Glad to be of help, Georgie. Oh, fucking bullshit How way of the getting Templars the name. became so wealthy? There was a constant stream of new recruits to their ranks, many from noble families. They were required to swear a sacred oath of poverty, chastity, and obedience. So, their money, goods, and lands were donated to the order. The Templars soon held land in France, Scotland, England, Spain, most of Europe, in fact. The poor Knights of Christ became the wealthiest power in Christendom. Is it true the treasure of the Knights Templar was never found? Ah, who knows? So little knowledge of what really happened remains. Oh, if it does, the truth has never I been bet made. Most of their money was actually what do you mean by that? Yeah. The Templars have attained a mythological status. They like have a lot of shit, Arthur right? Robert a lot of relics and stuff. There are people well. even now yeah, who say the Templars still exist. It's because they were bastards. Like no, not, not for a minute. Yeah, it's the assassins. They were the good ones. <laughs> does the guy in this photograph look familiar to you? No. No. Thanks for your help, on. You're welcome. Sure, mate. 
Bye. As I reached toward the display case, a shrill piping filled the air. I froze, then tried to get myself together and act nonchalantly. Hey, no! No, monsieur! No! 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 What's wrong? No. You must not handle the exhibit! I'm sorry. I just wanted to touch it. Touch. Touch. Oh, Kerbal Space but space program is fucking hard. Oh yeah, I have heard this. Jeez. Uh, I didn't even make my own rocket and it still fucked up. I pre uh, did a preset one. There was no water to frolic about and the leaf everywhere on the launch pad. Hmm. There's supposed to be a clown here. <laughs> but there isn't. She told me to talk to him, she told me to go here, I suppose. Hunt for flags, hunt for flags, hunt for flags, flags. Excuse me. Ah, Monsieur Stobart, yes, pas? That's correct. The retention, that, yeah. Hey. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, Monsieur. It's the guy who bombed the cafe, the clown. This man looks nothing like a clown. He's taken off his grease paint. Then there is nothing. Mm. Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. Stobart is here to see you, monsieur. Did he say what it was about? No, monsieur. Very well. Send him in. Bit of a beast, isn't he? All right. Hi, Inspector. Remember me? But of course, Doctor. My mind is a well-ordered faculty. A mental classification system that's the envy of the Bibliothèque Nationale. <laughs> no tricks, mark you, Monsieur. Just exercise. Just as our muscles waste through inactivity, so our minds decay. But there is no need. If only people would learn to exercise their wits daily. If he was trying to impress me, it worked. He was pompous and patronizing, but and I love style. him. Eh bien, <laughs> if you called about the bombing, I want to feel a sweet, tender embrace. I want his babies. <laughs> but I've been I want to be Mrs. Russo. <laughs> what about the murder, the dead guy? It is out of my hands. Ever heard of a guy called Marquet? Jacques Marquet? Marquet? I know the name well. He has a record for suspected blackmail, kidnapping, arson, and art theft. An all-rounder, huh? How come he's on the loose? His bravado is matched only by the courtroom skills of his attorney. Have you heard of the Knights Templar? Les Templiers. But of course, monsieur, their fame is widespread throughout France. We haven't forgotten them, unlike the rest of Europe. It was the King of France who persecuted them, though. Indeed. That shook his cool. Underneath his cultured facade, the man was real twitchy. You're obviously a great admirer of the Knights Templar. They were men of great honor, monsieur. The they fucking won! <laughs> of chivalry. Not everyone would share your views, Inspector. Not everyone shares my passion for Bartok. But if the Templars were as honorable as... That's enough. I do not wish to hear your uninformed opinions. He's a Templar. Out. He's a fucking Templar. Why do you get so wound up about the Knights Templar? They've been dead for centuries. <laughs> I shouldn't have pushed my luck. Maybe his ancestors were Templars. Whatever. I saw the anger flare in his eyes like a distant summer thunderstorm. The Templars were the first true internationalists. 800 years on, and still the world is fragmented by nationalistic flag-waving fools. You pissed him off. You will excuse me. Yeah, you pissed off the Templar.
Anywho. <laughs> Should probably save up. Hello. Hi, Nico. What do you want, Josh? I spoke to Labano about the manuscript. He wants to see it for himself. Damn it, okay. I missed the flag. Tell him to come here. Are you sure? Can we trust him? Trust me. He is okay. Ooh. Shut oh him off. My. Shut him off. Yep, there we go, there was a flag. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Georgie. Thanks for your You're welcome. That is not Josh. I've forgotten his name. Who? This yeah, guy. George. It's George. Yeah. Why do I think Josh? Josh. Josh. You see my Josh. brother Josh? <laughs> I didn't kill him. No. I didn't kill him. I didn't yeah. knock him off a boat and kill him. I didn't. Ah, oh, that reminds me. I, I rewatched stuff with the new Silent Hill game. You rewatched stuff? The demo. Oh, PT. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hello again, officer. Hello again, monsieur. Uh, so, Silent Hills. Silent Hills. Maybe we just need to get rid of the policeman then. Maybe the clown's only on the HD. Hello one. again, officer. Hmm. Hello again. Does this red. Ah, very. It is? No. <laughs> Have you seen this? No. I believe him. Oh, is that all you can say? I did what, but it didn't see. Look at this gem. <laughs> no, it's not. What kind of mad? So either it's glass or I'm mad. I didn't like to think about that for too long. Take a look at this. Ah, my TV has been acting up. Mm, I doubt. <laughs> Does this matchbook the pattern? Beyond that, who knows? Do you know what this is? Aha! You Americans with your notorious nose candy. <laughs> I read Hollywood Wives. I know all about it. If you tried to sniff this stuff, you'd wall up your nostrils. It's plaster of Paris. It is? Well, and uh... <laughs> well, this is a fact you that like you said about the nose candy and time. didn't fucking arrest him. Cop would not have been smart. They'd rebuild the bat... What do you make of the... Delightful. Hell no! Then please put yours. I'll scream it. Hmm. Hello again. Hello again. I'll scream it. Hmm. 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 There was no water and the. I think we should save for today. No, we must find flag. The flag isn't going to move places. It's firmly stuck in the ground. Somewhere. Anywho, people. There you go. That was a nice, nice long episode for you. So, hope you enjoyed. And uh, hopefully it recorded. That'd be nice. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So if it didn't, uh, they won't see you this. You won't see this. So uh, fuck you all. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> There's only 50 50 percent chance of they even have heard that. It's true. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit. Until next time, people. I'm gonna look in this window. Ah, <laughs> oh, look. Women's clothes. It wasn't the style of the clothes in the shop that caught my eye, but the prices. 
The same amount of money would feed a starving family for the rest of their lives. I guess people who buy that kind of stuff don't have a problem with their consciences. There you go. <laughs> Bye. Bye.